Hi everyone, here's a question from Perimetron area. Now this is really interesting and different question as compared to any other question. The question here is, fencing the compound of a house cost rupees 5452. If the rate is rupees 94 per meter, find the perimeter of the compound. If the breadth is 10 meter, find its length. Now I hope you understood what is the shape they are talking about. Now since we have given length and the breadth, they are talking about length and breadth, obviously it's a rectangle shape. Now there is a compound and they have put the fence and the total cost of the fence it is given as 5452. It's already they have given the cost and they also given that per meter they are charging 94 rupees. We have to find out the length and they have given breadth as 10 meter. Usually what we do, we found out the perimeter, that is we are going to find out the total length of the fence and later we are going to find out the cost. But in this question, they have already given the cost, we have to find out the perimeter using this and then using the perimeter we have to find out the length. How to do that? Now listen, they have given a rectangle, the total cost they have given, right? So to put the fence around the total perimeter that is to around this the compound wall they have given it is 5452 total cost they have given normally what we do we know we're going to find out the total perimeter which will be some in meter okay and then we're going to multiply with uh, per meter rate so here we know per meter that is for one meter they are charging 94 rupees so for how many meters it is 5452 so with what number we have to multiply this 94 here to get 5452 okay so here to get that we're going to divide these two numbers that is 5452 if i divide with 94 i'll get the total number of meter i hope it is clear how we got it again let me explain for one meter they're taking 94 rupees Right? We don't know the total perimeter. How much is the total perimeter? We don't know. So to, for total perimeter, it is 5,452. This means with 94, uh, we have multiplied the total perimeter. But with what number we have multiplied? So I'm going to divide this. Let me frame it as an equation uh, to, for you to clear here. So here, for 1 meter, it is rupees 94. So for total perimeter, which we don't know, we have multiplied 94 rupees, right? And then we have got rupees 5,452. So what is this number here? Total perimeter, we don't know. That Let me take it as x. Now I guess you have learned how to solve the equation, right? So x into 94 is equal to 5452. So transpose 94 to the other side, 94 is in multiplication, when transpose it comes in division. So that is how we are going to divide the number. Okay. So let me first frame the equation properly and then we are going to solve it. So given, they have given the total cost for fencing. So given total cost is equal to rupees 5452 and they have also given per meter rate and for one meter they are charging rupees 94 so we have to find out the perimeter so therefore perimeter of compound will be Five thousand four hundred fifty-two divided by ninety-four. You can directly cancel this in ninety-four, or you can cancel this in any table. I'm going to cancel this in two table. So this is ninety-four, right? So two fours are eight. One is left. Two sevens are fourteen. Now we have here in the numerator, two twos are four. One is left. It's so fourteen. Two sevens are fourteen. We have 5, so 2 twos are 4, 1 is left, 2 6 are 12. Now we have 47, we have here 2 7, 2 6. So let us divide directly this in uh, 47. So 2 7, 2 6, and here we have 47. So since 27 we cannot take because it's smaller than 47, let me take it as 272. 
so let us multiply here with 5 so 5 sevens are 35 5 fours are 20 plus 6 is 23 so 235 this is quite near so that will take it as 5 here so 235 subtracted so here we'll get 7 and here we'll get 3 so drop the 6 we got 376 now see here we have a 6 at the end right with 47 what number we should multiply to get 6 at the end because I have a 376 so here we know 7 8 uh, is 56 I'm getting 6 at the end right so let me try with 8 here so 47 multiplied by 8 I'm doing because I want 6 in the end so 6 uh, 7 sorry 8 7 is 56 and 8 4 is 32 32 plus 5 is 37 so we got it correct here so 47 multiplied by 8 is 376 so we get 0 so answer is 58 now why I have cancelled directly with 47 because 47 is a prime number we cannot div we cannot cancel it right that's why okay so we got 47 we have cancelled 47 we got 58 so 47 ones are 47 58 za. so answer is 58 so the perimeter is 58 meter now using this perimeter we're gonna find out the length now how to do that we know perimeter of rectangle is uh, 58 so p is equal to 2 into l plus b perimeter is 58 so 58 is equal to 2 into length we have to find out so let me write down l plus breadth we know it is 10 now it's 2 into right so you can either open the bracket multiply with 2 or transpose 2 to the other side so 2 is in multiplication when transpose it comes in division so 58 divided by 2 is equal to l plus 10 so 2 ones are 2 two is a 4 1 is left 5 minus 4 is 1 is a remainder so put along with 8 it becomes 18 2 nines are 18 so 29 is equal to l plus 10 I want only L I don't want 10 on the right hand side again transpose 10 to the other side now 10 is an addition in when it transposes to the other side it comes in subtraction so 29 minus 10 is equal to L so therefore we got length is equal to 19 meter that's it now this was a lengthy question but I hope you understood how we have solved now in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching